Donington Bridge area in Oxford is one of the favourite stretches of River Thames for fish walking enthusiasts. Over recent months, this picturesque scene has been blighted by concern. Fear has struck the fish walking community as fish are mysteriously disappearing in numbers. Over the last six months, over a dozen fish have vanished. The area is renowned for its clean water, wide towpaths and varied exercise opportunities for all breeds of fish. It is a worry. I used to let him off his lead all the time and he'd go wherever he wanted. But now you just can't do that anymore. I'm too concerned to let him go for a long swim. I mean, just look at him. He's so full of energy. Here boy, here boy, come, come, come here boy. The image of playful fish freely roaming oh, the river has been replaced by hey. one of fish leads and worried owners. Previously owners would not hesitate of letting their fish swim go, for go, hours go. unaccompanied, a practice now considered come to be here. unwise. The average untethered fish yeah, can cover a distance of 30 miles in one afternoon, clearly unachievable in a lead. An action group supported by the Environment Agency and Thames Valley Police has been formed to help shed light on the cause of these disappearances and to advise local fish owners. This group, the Oxford Fish Walking Association, is being headed by the veteran fish owner Gordon Trout. I spoke to him just upstream of Donington Bridge earlier today. Could you tell us the latest developments on this ongoing saga? Well, over the last couple of weeks, at least four pedigree trout have gone missing on this stretch of the river between here and Donington Bridge, um, raising concerns amongst all the fish walking population. What effect has this had on the fish walking community? Uh, people are a lot more wary about uh, letting their treasured pets off their leads um, this time. Um, we're encouraging people to really keep their pets on the lead, if at all possible. Who or what do you think is responsible for these disturbing events? One of the Oxford Fish Walking Association members uh, found this on the riverbank only a couple of days ago, which is clear evidence that uh, anglers are operating in this region of the, rib of the Thames. So what has been done about it? We are working closely with the local authority to ensure that pet owners are kept aware that they should really keep their pets on the lead at all times and to keep a, an eye out for any anglers that they may happen to come across and to report those. Until such times as the mystery of these disappearances has been resolved, pet owners will have to follow advice given by the local authorities. Keeping their fish attached to a lead will avoid the possibility of becoming yet another statistic. The inconvenience to fish walkers and the detrimental effects such restrictions have on the health of fish will have to be tolerated for the foreseeable future. If the current situation does not improve soon, people will have to find alternative sources of water in order to exercise their pets. This is Linda Thompson reporting for Central News from a sunny Donington Bridge. If all goes according to plan, we're going to be out in our garden in the sunshine yeah, tomorrow to see what's to that. See you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>